So Jennifer, I was talking to your husband Lance, and I gotta tell you, he's either the best actor in the world, or you guys got a serious problem here. We do have a problem, definitely. As far as experiences go, what about yourself? I was standing over here, and I saw an apparition of a man looking into the mirror, so I saw his reflection. Okay, can you describe what you saw? He was wearing a t-shirt, blue t-shirt, and he just had his head down. All right, so anything else going on? One night I was sleeping, and I got woke up because my legs slammed into the bed so hard that I felt like they had to been up high and then thrown down. Did you hear or see anything? Mm -mm. But sometimes I get, I woke up and I'll have scratches on my neck and my arms, and I'll have fingerprints, like bruises. Now, my understanding is that uh, you breed dogs. Now, how many do you have here at any given time? We usually have 20. 20? Yeah. Okay, so it's it possible one of the dogs might scratch you in the middle of the night that came into the house, or? No, they don't sleep with us. I don't like this room. Mm -mm, I don't like it at all. There's this guy, uh, and he's a weirdo. He's wearing a big old hat, but he is, he's like a shadow hat man. The hat man comes in here a lot, and he's in that corner specifically. And he's waiting and watching. Very creepy. And he feels trapped by whoever stays in here. Do you think the person he's fixated on is in danger? Yes, I do, because he hates them. So anything else? Um, everyone in the family is having stomach pain. We have just a lot of emotional issues, and I mean, uh, we have depression. There's a lot more fighting going on between family members, the, ch the kids, me and my husband. You're thinking this is all paranormal? Oh, yeah. So, Jennifer, who do you think is here? I have a friend that we were very close, and she passed away about a year ago. Okay, so how'd she pass? What happened? I was told she overdosed. Did she have a problem, or is this something that was accidental? She was extremely depressed and having a lot of family problems. She always was here. She was Aunt Jackie, and she loved my kids, and I think of her. I, I get sad, and I just... I just love her. I love her so much. I feel her. I just feel her in my emotions. I feel her presence. So, Marcy, the house must really upset you for not wanting to even do the interview inside. Yes, it scared me. It scared me deep into my soul. I can't live here. What have you experienced? When we first moved in, I looked over into the corner of the dining room, and I saw a white fog. And it just it was, it was just hovered there in the corner where the two walls meet. And all of a sudden, it just went shoo, right up into the ceiling, disappeared. OK, so smoke wouldn't do that. It wouldn't stick no. around, then move. No. no, and we don't allow smoking in the house anyway. OK, so anything else going on? Well, whenever I walked around the house, I heard footsteps behind me. I think it was possibly a soldier. He was pacing his steps like a soldier does. It's like a march. Yeah. Well, that would have to scare the hell out of you. Mm -hmm. So, Marcy, when I was talking to Nick, he was telling me that you've had some health issues when you moved in here. What was mm -hmm. going on? I had a pre-existing condition called cardiomyopathy. What were the symptoms? Shortness of breath, nausea, racing heart. All right, so I'm a little confused here, though. If you had this condition when you came here and you were having the symptoms here, what makes you think it's paranormal? Well, it got so much worse when we were here, where I couldn't even get out of bed some days. Okay. And once we moved, I feel great. It was something in this house. So, Marcy, now that you're away from the house, and Nick is basically here on his own, um, I'm sure you're worried about him. Yes. His health is bad. He's got all sorts of heart problems and stomach problems. I worry about him the whole time he's gone. Marcy, talking to Nick, he's hoping we can get rid of whatever's nasty in here and getting you sick so you guys can move back. Would you be open to that? You can't pay me to move back here. Really? No. You could give me a million dollars. It wouldn't be enough. Is that causing any kind of friction between you guys? Yes. OK. How could it not? 
He has one dream and I have another dream. There is no way that I will ever live in this house again. So Neil, I understand you work as a tattoo artist here. Yes, that's right. OK, so how long have you worked here? About four years now. Why'd you take me down to the basement? What's the story? Most uh, sightings generally happen down here. With the stuff that's going on here, with the experiences, have you had any? Yes, I've had many. OK, tell me about some of them. You can hear uh, banging, and it sounds like someone's walking around down here in the middle of the night when you're upstairs, so. You guys have problems with rodents or anything like that? No. This really sounds like someone is punching the ceiling of the basement underneath your feet. OK, anything else? Real late at night when I'm locking up, standing in the doorway is a shadow of a man, and you can see it very clearly. Uh, it also feels like it's looking at you as well. I wouldn't necessarily say it's black. It's more uh, just a void. Uh, it'll make your stomach turn. All right, so what else is going on? Multiple people have uh, claimed that they feel they've been um, groped or pushed down here. You can feel it on your shoulders the further you go into the basement. It's uh, kind of like someone's uh, pressing your shoulders down. Keeping in mind that over a 1,000 corpses have been in and out of this place. Uh, if anywhere is haunted, it's this basement.